hey guys how is it going welcome back to another video on injustice 2 mobile all right guys so today's video is about uh, store update and uh, chest reviews so we're gonna do that and we're gonna take a look at the new stores and special offers that we have and if it's good enough for you or not all right guys so before we proceed in the video i just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time i would like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this all right guys so uh, the first chest is hawkman premium hero chest now hawkman is obviously a decent gold character and uh, he's not going to give you a lot of damage in the raids obviously but he can come in handy in the arena and champions arena he has a few things that might help you especially in the arena and champions arena you know things like the infinite loop uh you know with the basic attacks and uh he can actually you know if, if in case you any other character in your team is about to die this guy will come in and save him uh you know so uh you know there are a couple of things uh that he can do as i said you know and, and i think if you're really looking forward to unlocking this guy uh like right now then this is the best chase to do that and the reason why is because as we all know uh you know the premium hero chests are dedicated to one particular character which has around eight percent chances and the same is for hawkman as well uh so i think if you spend like five thousand gems or maybe if you spend like yeah i think i mean you know the quantity of gems that you have to spend is not fixed i'm just saying that on an average if you spend like five thousand gems and i think you should unlock uh, at least a three-star hawkman from there quite easy eight percent chances yeah i think five thousand gems should be good all right guys now and then apart from that the other characters are you know are mixed actually there are some good characters there are some really bad characters and then there are some crappy characters as well so uh, if you really want to invest in hawkman right now and then you might not have the gears as well you might need to buy them you know, if you want or then you need to wait for him to you know i, I don't think he's going to be there in the arena uh, you know in the arena invasions or he's not going to have any challenge yet uh, we don't know about the future but he doesn't have an in arena invasion to get the gears or the challenges so probably you might have to buy the gears so just think about it if you want this character without gears or with gears and then open the chest all right guys now moving on to the next chest mr freeze versus brainiac chest now this chest is actually not that bad you know i basically opened uh, this chest last time you know you can watch it in my playlist it's in the pack opening playlist chest opening playlist i'll leave it at the end of this video the whole playlist for you uh where i have all the chest openings uh for injustice 2 all right guys so uh yeah you know basically i opened this like uh five six times last time uh you know when i got a mr freeze you know so that was lucky and uh, brainiac is one of those characters which is quite easy to obtain from the versus challenge and even the gears but uh, mr freeze's gears won't be available that easy you might have to open many power up chests and again he is not a free to play free to play character uh he is a pay to win pay to play character obviously you might you might need beta club as well that is again a pay to win uh artifact uh so uh yeah i mean you need to think about it you know if you think that you can spend some money on getting beta club or you just want him in the in the roster as a collection then yeah you can definitely go for it but if you're using him if you want to use him as a damage dealer then yeah you might need all the gears first and then some set of artifacts as well all right guys now moving on moving on to the next chest okay so this is a premium hero chest for unhinged harley quinn the same for starfire uh, i think uh, these two characters are probably the crappiest characters in the game so please it's a request especially to the beginners to stay away from these two chests if you want to open any premium hero chest you know there is one for batum in the drowned same cost 250 gems batum and the drawn premium hero chest or uh, you can go for silver banshee premium hero chest okay so please do not open this chest at any cost you know no matter how much you like these characters they're not going to help you at any point in the game so all right forget about the hero's chest i don't think anybody wants me to talk about it because it's it's literal crap all right guys now moving on into the special offers epic hell of a deal it's always there and it's not that epic it's not hell of a deal definitely not just twenty thousand resources dude come on at least you should have have like a hundred thousand resources you know twenty thousand resources for two thousand six hundred rupees is not good definitely not good uh five thousand two hundred gems again not good 
at least you should have like 15,000 gems for 2,000 rupees, 2,600 rupees coins. Doesn't matter, simulation chips doesn't matter, experience capsules doesn't matter, you can get them for free from any other place. And even the resources as well, the gear resources. All right, so Twisted Starter Pack. I think we have already taken a look at it before. Uh, Twisted Starter Pack is there for a from a very long time since the Solar Age started. It's going to be there at the, till the end. And same goes for the other artifact packs that we have. Uh, you know, it's it's not like, you know, you, you might get from level 1 to level 10 or maybe uh, level 9. Or, or or I guess it's just level 1. Okay, my bad. In 850 rupees, just level 1. Any random twisted artifact and 300 gems. Which is not good, actually. You know, not good. At least they should have given us chances for getting level 1 to level 10. Okay, just a twisted artifact, and it will be till level 10, obviously. You know, to be honest, these bundles do not give you, you know, uh, except for some of the artifact ones, they are good. Uh, except for the gear packs, uh, you know, apart from that, most of the artifact bundles or these uh, starter bundles, they won't give you enough uh, resources uh, to play or enough uh, artifacts, you know, in order to upgrade or, you know, build your roster. You know, because the cost is too high and the chances for getting those kind of artifacts is too low. Three star. Okay, what was the three star bundle? All right. All right. All these characters are available easily through chests. So stay away. Stay away from this. Moving on. Robin King. Subdued violence pack. This is new. Okay, one star gold hero for 430 rupees. Stay away. As simple as that. I, I'm not going to even look at the chances what characters are going to drop. One star for 430 rupees. Not good. Random shards, random shards, three times, and then a one star gold character again. Stay away. Not good at all, even for beginners who are ready to spend money. Even if you want to spend money, please don't, on, especially on this. Groblin Army Pack. Let's take a look. All right, guys, same goes over here. There is random Robin King gear, though, but it's a random one. Oh, okay, you might also get chances for getting a Robin King. Okay, but it's 20%. It's going to be crap. You know, if you hit it, it's great. It's great. But if not, you're going to end up getting some random gold hero. The chances will reduce 10%, obviously. And I think. Uh, and I'm not really, literally a fan of these things. It's completely based on luck. It's like gambling with your own money. And, and, and I don't think it's ideal. 3%? Come on, man. Solar Raid gives you 3% chances for getting Robin King. Why? The normal mode gives you getting a 3% chance for Robin King. Why do you want to spend money in order to get the similar amount of chance? So this pack actually makes no sense. But if you literally want to gamble your money, then maybe you can go for the Groblin Army pack. You know, maybe you might get a Robin King. Just 20% chance. All right, Entangling Poison Ivy. Three-star bundle. Stay away. There are better chests uh, to get the uh, character as well as the gears. So stay away from it. Batman. The same goes for the uh, Batman who laughs back as well. The chances are going to be the same. 3% over here, 10% over here, and 20%. If you want to gamble, gamble with the 20%. 3% uh, and 10%. Most probably you won't. You would have to open like... How many five or six of these packs for three percent to get at least one drop for batman who laughs you know yeah you may be lucky one day you might uh, get a, like throw a batman who laughs or robin king in the same uh, in the first drop itself or maybe if you spend like five thousand ten thousand rupees you might not even get it so that's like literal gambling over here all right legendary or a lucky bag now all these characters actually they are e either easy to obtain or they are either crappy so stay away from this and apart from that everything else is going to be the same all right guys so i guess that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed it give it a like and let's meet again in the next video till then guys you have a great day take care of yourselves be blessed and stay safe have a good one guys Bye bye